Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a goat milk soap using this fragrance. It's called Dewberry. This is from Wholesale Supply Plus, Crafter's Choice, and I love this scent. It's not just berry and sweet, there's more, it's very complex and it smells great. Uh, it does say it discolors to a light tan, so we're gonna work with that. Um, and for the color swirls in this goat milk soap, I'm gonna use Blackberry from Nurture Soap. And this is a beautiful plum sort of, uh, it's got purple overtones, but it comes out with like a grayish plum color. It's really beautiful. And for the green part, I'm gonna use High Society from Nurture Soap, and that's cool. And I'm gonna save off a little of this, hopefully, to do some piping on top because I have these little flower embeds, um, and these were made in uh, just a Wilton chocolate mold I got in the bakery section at, at the store. But, um, I had some leftover batter. I poured them in here and I'm going to put these down on top, pipe some leaves around it and uh, that's hopefully going to be the top if everything's behaving and I can get my soap in the piping bag and all that. So that's the plan. Uh, again, we'll use goat milk soap and I am going to be using mulberry silk in this soap instead of Tassa silk because I have my sample that Epic Stargazers sent me from there uh, and I love how it feels so I'm just working my way through that mulberry top silk I think <laughs> I'm gonna get everything pulled together and we are gonna make some really wonderful dewberry goat milk soap I'm back and I've got my oils all melted cooling and my butters are in here I have my little leaf piping tip in my bag ready to go um, so I'm gonna add my additives which is my organic colloidal oats two tablespoons and my kale and clay, white kale and clay. And I add this in just about all of my soaps because I really, really like how it makes the soap feel in the finished bar. So those will be my additives. I'm gonna blend those in and I will be adding my fragrant oil in here also just to anchor it in with the clay and the oats into the oils. So I'm gonna get those blended in and let them sit for a few minutes and then we'll move on to add our goat milk lye solution. And I'm ready to get my goat milk in here, but before I do, I wanted to show you, I actually decided to add another color um, and this is uh, Orchid Mica from Brambleberry and it's just a really pretty purple. So I just wanted to add a little more um, swirl. So we're gonna do a three color swirl, but I'm still gonna save off a little of the green to pipe around those flowers on top as leaves. Um, oh man, this fragrance smells wonderful. It is uh, a berry fragrance. I looked up just to make sure it behaved well from the reviews. And it does have, I was reading the description for it, so it's a berry and it has um, some vanillin in it, which is why it, it discolors to a light tan. And it actually has some under notes of musk in there, so it's a nice, it's not too sweet, it's really good. Um, so because of the vanillin in my goat milk solution, I put about a teaspoon of titanium dioxide and just blended it in here with the mulberry silk and the um, sodium lactate. So that's what's going on with our lye solution. So goat milk and a few additives are going in here. And I'm gonna just hand stir this, uh, make sure it's behaving as advertised. I've never used this fragrance before. I like to just proceed a little cautiously. Although I do really appreciate um, most of the websites, uh, Brambleberry, Wholesale Supply Plus, Nurture Soap, they have areas for reviews on their fragrances and colors, and it is so helpful. So I encourage you to read the reviews and write the reviews after you've used a product because it really is helpful for us first time, you know, if you're using something for the first time to hear other people's experiences, it's great. All right, so this is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my stick blender in here for just a sec and get some emulsion going here. Let's get our colors over here. So here's my high society, lovely. There we go. 
that's probably about a nice generous, I'd say two teaspoons for, okay, here is um, blackberry mica, and we'll go in here with that. And then my orchid mica from Brambleberry, we'll go over here. I'm gonna blend these up and see if we're where I want them. I'm just gonna give this another quick stick blend and then we'll go darkest to lightest. Lightest to darkest, sorry. And since this one is the lightest, that's why I'm starting here. Four hours, eh, about 18 hours on the goat milk dewberry. Oh, and it smells good today. And look at that high society green. Kind of tickled with that color. It is really pretty. It's almost a robin's egg blue, but more green. It actually kind of matches my liner. <laughs> it's lovely. To our goat milk dewberry here with mulberry silk. Oh, it's pretty. This is a really nice fragrance, too. I like it so much. All right, so. Let's talk about these colors for a second. This high society, whoo, that's pretty. It's very minty, almost a robin's egg color. Uh, you can see the blackberry, see it's kind of a grayish purple. And then there's the brambleberry orchid and the high society. Oh man, those are pretty. It's a nice combo. And these, these actually came out look a little bit like chocolate bites because it's a chocolate mold. That's so funny to me but they smell great and uh, yeah, 
I think that color combo is pretty cool. And I don't think, we'll see if it discolors anymore, but I think it's just gonna be this creamy beige because it does have a little bit of vanillin in it, not a lot. And I did put a teaspoon of titanium dioxide in the goat's milk. So um, I think that we're stable. I'm not seeing a discoloration mark around the outside. A lot of times when you have a discoloring, you'll see a little rim around it, and I'm not seeing that. So we'll see. I think it's probably pretty stable. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. These came out really pretty. Smell great. And this color, it's you know what I love it that's really cute okay you guys every once in a while you get something like this and it's so cool looks like a butterfly or a dragon or something all right here's another one I think it looks like a little smiling monster <laughs> isn't he cute 